I want to focus on two really critical elements. One of them Philip mentioned earlier on is psychological safety. Psychological safety means, am I free to express myself without fear of consequence? And is what I'm expressing valued? Yeah, most organizations do not have that in place. Yeah, they don't. And so that's a really, really critical thing. And so much so, um, Google spent about three years looking at this. They're looking at the quality of teams and teaming. They were looking at, can we assemble a perfect team each time we get people together in the room? And what they were looking at, 100 different variables, 35 different statistical models, trying to understand, how do we assemble great teams? Yeah, each time. They started looking through the data, and they couldn't find any correlates. But what they started doing is observing these teams. They watched them work. They were looking at them. What they found is that they had equal speaking time. Each individual on the team was able to express themselves, yeah? They had time, each of them. I don't know how many meetings that you've been involved in in most corporations. You can, you can actually measure safety just in putting a stopwatch on the table to see how much time each person has to speak, yeah? So that's one thing we can start to look at to understand. Do we have the conditions for play? Can people actually show up and actually express themselves, yeah? To start that path of what does it mean to be human, yeah? How do I show up more human as AI and digitalization and these, these automated tasks start to become basically, I mean, we heard it from Jeff. He was up here talking about we're actually trying to remove humans from this process to make sure that the machines just talk to the machines. All right, what do those humans do now? They got to level up. They got to be more human. They got to be more creative. They got to do other things. Yeah. So how do we create the conditions for that to happen on